Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello. Hello everyone, what a night it is about to be, a night of qualifications for money in the ass. It's going to be a wild one, almost every single match involved in tonight will dictate a spot on a pay-per-view that could win you a title or even more it should be a great one and of course if you watched the car earlier today you know there's even more after the main event we will be doing the biggest in-ring signing the newest member of the jfw women's division for friday stand firm is coming here and uh, I'm, I'm keeping her hidden backstage right now. Should be a wild one. Cannot wait to reveal who we have just bagged for the women's division. But first up, folks, a ladder match between Satterfield and Foxamania. What's at stake? The final spot available to Stan Firm's roster for the Wem Dope title. Satterfield looking to get back into it. Foxamania pursuing a belt I don't believe he's ever won. And, of course, Night Demon... Uh, uh, awaits them in a TLC match along with three members of Claw and, of course, Cocky from CBT. That match is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC on Money in the Ass. This match is going to be right the fuck now. Glorious. Let's get to ringside. You sound a little bit robotic. I don't know why, Skuro, oh. but you sound a bit robotic. We just... Uh... Hang on. How am I sounding now? A little better? Hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do I sound better now? I'm going to listen. Yeah, that sounds okay. He is Satatoad. Yeah, I am sounding a little robot <laughs> A little robot but a little better. I am as Rosebots. <laughs> All right, I think it might just be a Discord thing. I, my, my mic is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Glorious. Satora fell, baby. He was on a tear. Night Demon ended that tear and took his title away. Yep. It's, uh, sorry, I've got to pause. 2K22 downloading. Yep, it should be okay now, Frosty. Should be okay now. Uh, okay, fair enough. We had a, an update. And there he is, Fox Amania. The Yorkshireman himself, of course, former tag team partner of your world heavyweight champion, JBG, and uh, also an EAB champion. He's done quite a bit with his time in the JFW. I, like I said, I don't believe he's ever won the Wemdope title, so he would love to add that notch to his bedpost. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fuck the title, Jim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking a lot better. And is my audio sounding better now? Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. All right. Here we go, folks. Ladder match, of course, you're going to see a, probably a briefcase hanging above them. That is not the money in the ass briefcase like others will be competing for in the main event on Sunday. This is just a symbolic one to declare a winner here. Whoever grabs that is going the money in the ass to compete for the Wem Dope title. Oh yeah. Satterfield starting off with some power here, but a nice counter by Foxamania. Oh, he's been uh, struggling to take Satterfield off his feet with those running knees though, and Satterfield runs at him with a knee of his own and does not have the same problem. <laughs> And Satterfield feeling it. He's feeling very confident. He doesn't have to climb as far up a ladder because he's so damn tall. Hmm. Mm. What a brutal stomp there from Satterfield. Indeed. Satterfield taking his time with this one. He's got full power control, but here comes a counter again by Foxamania and a nice uh, dragon screw takedown. Now Foxamania has a chance to put some offense in here. Nope, not much of a chance. The, the tiny foot and big leg of Satterfield connecting with uh, Foxamania's face there. 
big legs. Uh, no, it should be working fine, honestly. There, there's nothing wrong on my end. I, I, I'm getting the loveliness of the uh, of the Discord stream, but not much can be done about that one. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Jimmy Fantastic's big end. Oh, big suplex on the outside there. 13 feet of concrete awaiting him tonight. Oof. Satterfield now grabbing that ladder, and he could just run right in, run right up, and end this real quickly. Yeah. Foxmania not moving on the outside. Now he is. That woke him up a little bit. But ladder introduced to the match. That's the only way to win this one. Oh, what a beautiful drop kick by Foxmania. Now he's got a chance at the ladder. No, Satterfield right back to his feet. Grabs him in, and look at that. Hooks the arm and throws him halfway across the ring. Oh, and another stomp. And no, yeah, obviously I'm not Mr. Tato. Jesus Christ. Imagine mm -hmm. thinking I'm Mr. Tato. As if I'd be playing more Blood Bowl. <laughs> Fucking hell. That is pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah. Satterfield really showing some confidence here. This might be unearned right now, though. Needs to focus. Well, sends him over the rope, and is oh he going to drop him down? Oh, no. Look out. Look out. Oh, back body drop right onto the edge there, and Satterfield very quickly in, and he's going up Ooh. that ladder. This could be over before it really ever started. Started. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this, this is... is this is it. Oh no, here yeah. he comes. Fox Mini has got to be quick. He's got to be real quick here. Well, quicker than that. Yeah. Quicker He's just than this. Taking oh. his time. Oh, he made it. He made it to the ladder and somehow able at the last second. Satterfield failed to get that uh, briefcase oh, down. Oh, the counter though from Sutter. He tosses him off. Oh my God, Sutter's going to win. Sutter's going to money in the ass. <laughs> Boy, how He's done, right? Like Surely. Barely an inconvenience. Satterfield has just, I think, maybe, <laughs> could have. Oh, okay, Foxamania's up. Foxamania is up, but Satterfield <laughs> has punched this ticket. Somebody in the ass, just like that. And if he can do that again, he will win back the the Wem Dope title. Night Demon, I hope you were taking notes because that was about as efficient a ladder match as you're going to see. Of course, tables and chairs will be involved in the affair on Sunday. But Satterfield looking in prime form for this uh, upcoming title match. Yep. Yep, that was... That sorry, really was terrible. Sorry, Foxamania. <laughs> Maybe ladder's not the uh, the forte there yeah. for uh, for the Yorkshireman. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> but now we've got oh, a battle well, royale for. Yeah, you can't go wrong when you throw eight men in one ring and have them all start grabbing each other. This one's gonna be wild. Last man standing gets the final spot in the main event for the money in the ass briefcase and they can take that briefcase and cash in the contract inside at any time to compete for the extra arms belt championship or the world heavyweight championship and if they can win it they will be assigned to that show and get that belt so there's a lot at stake here all sorts of people entering in and of course if you didn't see the news on monday night claw tony plays poorly and uh, Rick Reckless are vying for a spot in that match as well. They will open the show in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Winner of that will have to do double duty in the main event, but will get a chance at the Money in the Ass contract. Four. Double duty. That's what I like. Covering all of our uh, important uh, our important words here. <laughs> here, we, here. Here we go. Imagine if Artemis Black was able to win this match. Oh, Wouldn't that be something? I hope Haven't doesn't. seen him accomplish much of anything in the JFW. No. He always gets course, diced, doesn't he? That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, he does get diced. He barely allowed to play to play wrestling. <laughs> you know, he was you know formerly formerly the leader of the crew that C R. E K W E, you know, it's like you. It's like a, it's like a, like a sheep joke. But uh, they never really came together. Of course, uh, you know, strugg struggling to really separate themselves as a uh, viable faction. 
Oh baby. Oh. Faulty launching squirrel taken out on the big grind nerd. The big grind nerd. No! Oh, oh, just, just Joe's Joe. gone! Eliminated by former nemesis humorous Chim. No! Faulty's gone! <laughs> Faulty's gone, and look out, Calcium, Scurimezzo on the clock there. It's not like we haven't seen that in matches before. <laughs> oh, but not this time. Calcium hangs on. Oh, oh what a headbutt. But look at this, Kaz with a, Kaz with a counter, and what a chop. Yeah. Oh, God, trading ch vicious chops. <laughs> yeah, Calcium and Scurro, oh, no. No! Probably the two most dangerous Dave. people in the ring. And Dave goes down! <laughs> Skuro's loving it. Absolutely. I mean, he, he does excel in these. He's one of the few people to win a Royal Rumble in any official capacity. Of course, winning the uh, the, the, the Skirmetsos High Intensity Tournament, Royal Rumble, 30-man Royal Rumble, an impossible feat, even <laughs> though it had his name on the brand. It was completely <laughs> random who ended up winning that one, and it was Skirmetso. So, you know, he's yeah, also right. the winner, 358, in case you Forgot. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. Yep. I think we'd all forgotten. Yep. <laughs> well, Chimp not eliminated there, able to hang on, and now Chimp and Squirrel going after Skuro as Artemis and Calcium rage on each other in the corner. Of course, uh, you know, Calcium one half of the tag team Rage Milk. Is he going to be raging here? It looks Ooh. like he's in trouble. No, he hangs on again. Artemis one last ditch to push him over. Oh, he's got he it. does. He's Calcium him off. goes out like a wet fart, and now it's <laughs> down to four. <laughs> Artemis is totally going to win this, by the way. Yep, there and goes Skurro. <laughs> and Skurro eliminated by Artemis. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, Chimp hanging on. Chimp's gone. Long, and it's, it's down to Artemis and Squirrel, dude. Oh, good lord, Squirrel. Come on, baby. No, Squirrel. <laughs> Oh my god! Never has one man been cheered for play. so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know why I'd certainly be che cheering for the guy who actually, you know, has been on the show multiple times. <laughs> oh, what an Alabama slammer! Oh, or god. whatever that long ass Welsh town is. Yeah, Aberystwyth with slammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, squirrel in some real trouble here. Artemis oh, might have god. him. Artemis is lining him. Oh, up. he's got it! <laughs> Another one in nine. Another one in nine. Really? <laughs> and Artemis Black has won this, and he has punched his ticket to Sunday's oh pay-per-view. The money in the ass contract awaits him. He's got to have to go through seven oh other men, god. though. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, JVG. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a weird start to Friday Stand Firm, but I assure you folks it's only going to get wilder from here. Of course, we've got a huge main event. Dimmy G trying to beat Frost Lord to get himself added to the World Championship match. And then after that, uh, we are going to do an in-ring contract signing with the the newest member of the JFW Women's Wrestling Division. Should be something epic. Yeah, that's that's really exciting. <laughs> and next up, folks, Plim Plum Pluser Weight action. The the long-awaited, long-talked-about GFK return. He's back. It's been a well over a year since he's competed in the JFW, trying to start hot with a big win over Blue Bomber to qualify for the uh, four-way extreme elimination match for Moradam's uh, Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship. Of course, you know, Moradam has an iron grip on that thing like it's a pair of testicles, <laughs> and he's also got to contend with Elliot. Uh, who, who qualified by very easily winning a cage match last week. And then later on tonight, a tag match will add the last spot in. Tom Schniz getting a little help from J5 and Space Cadet tagging with Mora Plovach. Whichever team wins, their Plim Plum Pluser will be added to this match as well. Yep. <laughs> Let's get to ringside. Sorry, I'm really struggling because it's just so fucking annoying, isn't it, that everything's fucked? Like, I'm pretty sad about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to we'll have to worry about that when we worry about that later. Yeah. <laughs> 
We can get through what we need to get through in the in the interim. Yep. Uh, yep. You've clearly never you've clearly never watched more damn uh, wrestle than Tibbum. <laughs> yeah. One half of cock and ball torture. He's yeah. annihilated many many testicles in the JFW. He's eaten a lot of balls as well. <laughs> that's how he got his title, and that's how he intends to keep his title. I'm sure. But here is a guy that could really put on a show. He just always falls a little short. It's Blue Bomber. That's right. Box Art Mega Man in the house. <laughs> yep. Oh, I really do love. I really do love Blue Bomber's entrance. Really good. Really nice. Got a great move set. He's got all the pieces you need. He just hasn't won the big one. This could be his time, but he's gonna have to go through a very motivated and and uh, surprise returning GFK. They've never really faced each other, to my knowledge. Um, so this could be a challenge for Blue Bomber. And of course, GFK is pretty much always on something when he makes his entrance. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is a real good will entrance he, as well, isn't it? Yeah, will he remain focused? We'll find out. <laughs> he is a former Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. Had it for a while, as I recall. One of the mm. earliest winners of it. Held it for at least a month. Yeah. <laughs> it's so random, isn't it? The braid and hat. <laughs> Yeah, and with the Fu Manchu mustache, probably there's a level of racism in here that we need to address <laughs> when uh, when we ultimately get forced to, <laughs> to the next game. But we'll worry about that when we get there. <laughs> GFK has posted a few selfies. Maybe he has that Fu Manchu. We'll never know until he shows his face. Here we go, Plim Plum Loser, two of the highest flying in the division. This could be a wild match. Wow, he hit him from about a foot and a half away there. Yeah. <laughs> Connecting with that knee, the force. He must have broke the sound barrier there and caused the shockwave. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Sonic Boom. Oh, yeah. wow, look at that. What an athletic nice, counter. Nice, yeah, nice counter. Of course, one of these guys uh, does not look like a pro wrestler, and the other one... Looks like he works at the mall, so, you know, it, it sure is something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, nice, nice takedown there. GFK, of course, his, his entrance attire was created by Shawnee, the uh, legend, so that's why he maybe wow. looks like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Shawnee, uh, Shawnee had a very interesting design eye. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, God, he oh, didn't hit him from a foot and a half get, away. Oh, what yeah, the hell? <laughs> well, it looked pretty until it didn't. And that might have spelled disaster for Blue Bomber. <laughs> That was incredible. It's a great maneuver. He just did not know where he was. Got completely discombobulated. Holy shit. What a maneuver. <laughs> what a maneuver. Oh my god. Oof. Oh, Oof. look at this. Lining Savage. him up and driving that knee. Good thing he was wearing that safety helmet. Yeah. And you can see he's able to capitalize on that, getting the counter in. Blue Bomber's got to get something going here. No countered by GFK. GFK is a man possessed in this one. 
Well, you better have a bit of ring rust, though. That was a bit sloppy, and Blue Bomber able to get out of the way and answer back with what the, whatever the hell this is. Oof. Oh, shoulder breaker. Nicely done. Oh, but he misses the kick to the back. GFK, these two are very evenly matched. Mm. Oh, Punches look out. Control. Look out. Back body drop Oof. onto that apron. We saw that earlier. It was a big difference maker. Might be one here as well. <laughs> oh, we didn't uh, didn't factor in countouts. That could complicate things for the mm, match. Could, yeah. Double countout. Yeah. Oh, look out! Poison Rana. Oh. No, into a into a Hurricane Rana into a pin, but Blue Bomber able to kick out. Realigning his mid back there and stomping away. Blue Bomber j just in some serious trouble right now. Yeah, in a lot of trouble. But GFK a bit tired. Tired of beating the shit out of Blue Bomber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens when you're, you know, pounding the head of a dude wearing a metal helmet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look out, ref! Look oh. out, ref! Saw that one oh, coming a God. mile away. Ref sure fucking did. Oh, God, Blue Bomber, oh, what an Blue idiot. Blue Bomber, no. No, <laughs> Blue Bomber, he had the win here. He had it. That's easily a three count. And no. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. He, let's see if he can keep his head in the game here. Always a challenge when you get screwed out of a pinfall. But, you know, you can't even really blame GFK there. That was just uh, incidental contact. I'm sure GFK knew the ref was down and was just waiting for him to start counting, <laughs> right? There was no, re no, no reason to kick out early. Maybe. I don't know. That's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> oh, look out. Snaps the head right back into the mat. And now he's going to yank that leg, tweak the, uh, the hammies. Yeah. But yeah, GFK, a little winded there. Oh, he's going top rope, though. Oh, no. No, no, he's not. He's no. going into the... Yeah. <laughs> Brain worms. Oh, G G GFK maybe getting a, a little bit cold feet there. Oh. Oh, he went for the arc play. Oh, though, counter. GFK, nice power slam. Is he going top rope now? No, he is not. Ooh. Oh. Just backhands and then return fire. Look out. Nicely oh, done boy. by GFK. Walks him over to the ropes. Springboard up and tosses him. Beautifully nice. done by GFK. <laughs> uh, we don't need to check anything, Samich. We know he's got him. <laughs> yeah, we know he has the brain ones. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. Pump handle power bomb. Nope. Two, two count almost had him. Last second kick out there by by GFK. Blue Bomber might be a rainbow cutter away from money in the ass. Oh, and here we go. Here we go, folks. This could be the end of this match. Boy, howdy. It sure could. What a long, move this long, is. It's ridiculous. Yeah, long isn't it? setup. Oh. Boom, that's it. Good night, GFK. What a show he put on, but it wasn't quite enough. <laughs> and it is Blue Bomber who is going to money in the ass. I don't think that's the last we'll see of GFK, though. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a match. That, ma uh, that, that money in the ass match, the four-way extreme elimination match, the Plim Plum Plusers always deliver. That one is going to be wild. And will it be Tom Schniz or Space Cadet rounding out the foursome? Hmm. Ref again injured there, but uh, justice was served. Blue Bomber able to get the final pin. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So you, you know I, why, you know why. I, I just froze for a second. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's uh, Blue Bomber going to... I nearly said WrestleMania. <laughs> I almost said that earlier too. <laughs> <laughs> Money oh, in no. the ass. You know what time it is next.
Oh, baby. What time is it, Gorilla? Finally time for the Marcel McDaniels Open Challenge. He is going to be in the ring tonight. And who from the back is going to answer the call to go one-on-one -on -one against Marcel for his glorious in-ring return? to Friday, stand firm. This is, I know Tom, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. Let's get to ringside for Marcel McDaniels. Oh baby! Wait, and what now, the now hell? Wait a second, that's my, that's my mystery signing. What's she doing? Tren, what's Tren doing back there with my mystery signing? No, Tren. Trent, get out of her oh. way. Oh, come on. Oh, oh come on, Trent. Trent. No, Trent. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That is my mystery signing. She's not supposed to reveal who she is until after the main event for her contract signing. Apparently, Trent heard the hype and got jealous and went after the signee. Oh, this is despicable. Trent, I expect so much better out of her. But I mean, you know what? She might... She might have bit off more than she can chew here. I'm not just signing some schlub to round out the the women's roster in the JFW. Well, I'll be honest, I don't know, I don't know why you expect better from her. <laughs> She's a bit of a loose cannon. <laughs> I, I know. I, I just I, I, I live in hope, Jim. <laughs> Well, this might have backfired for her because my signee looks... Oh, well, maybe not anymore. <laughs> Briefly looked in control. Oh, no! Oh, no! Bounced her head right off of that electrical box. Oh, and I, folks, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to announce, but obviously this is a developing situation here. And we're, we're going to have to bump Marcel McDaniels once no. again. I, I, apologies to the audience. Apologies to Marcel. But you know what? You know what? I'll say it here and I'll say it now. I'm going to let Marcel have a slot at Money in the Ass. We will do the Marcel McDaniels Open Challenge at Money in the Ass, but right now we've got to focus on this. This is a developing situation here. You know, a new signee, dangerous fight back. There's no rules or anything going on here, and Trent really taking it to her right now, but getting back as good as she's given. But so, folks, I promise you, Marcel McDaniels will be in the ring at Money in the Ass for his open challenge and will one million percent get to have his match. I promise you, I stake my career on it. Oh. I, I don't stake anything on it. <laughs> wow, you heard it here, everybody. Gorilla Mezzo has put his career on the line. <laughs> my son by career, he means hey, caveat. <laughs> I mean nothing of what I just said. It's a guarantee. Marcel McDaniels will be at money in the ass. Unbelievable. <laughs> What a story, guys. And, and you know what? I, I'm, every time I see one of those kicks connect with Trent's stupid face, it gives me a little bit of a smile because she really she picked this fight, and she's damn well losing it right now. Yeah, that's right, Trent. Look out. Look out. Oh, oh it drops right. the elbow from the top of the electrical box. And oh. this one is all but over. Trent is going to have to learn her place in the JFW women's division. That was a, that was a devastating elbow. Elliot would have appreciated that one, I'm sure. <laughs> and yeah, my signee completely in control oh here. Oh boy, you got a chair? Oh yeah, end it, end it now. Oh. Boom! Oh, I don't feel bad about seeing that at all. <laughs> oh my god, this has been pretty brutal. Sure has. It was pretty even, but now... My signee taking over, and I think this one's all... Oh, nice counter by Trent. Oh, no, and that lariat, that diving lariat by Trent. I've seen that take a lot of people down, and that can change my mind. Oh, she's trying... No, 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 come on. Come on now, come on. No, no one masking. You're going to ruin the whole crux of the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, oh. French. Oh, introducing the uh, new signee to Trend's knee there. <laughs> oh, oh man. Bang and, and here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's feeling it now. Cannot wait to ink her contract after the main event tonight. 
and reveal to the world what is in store for the women's division. No, no, Trent, come on. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Well, that might have changed. Uh, that might have changed things around a little bit. It oh no! Again, for the trying to yeah, again, just wants to humiliate, wants to ruin everyone, but her own success in the women's division. No, oh, potato not a drop. potato drop. Not a potato drop, too. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ah, despicable. I'm Trent. I'm not forgetting this one. I'm gonna come up with something for you. Oh, wow! Well, you know, look at the that. toughness, though. Sine still in this. Oh, gosh, he almost hit the corner of that electrical box. Oh, my God. And Trent, yeah, she's thinking about her actions now. She's realizing how screwed she is, I think. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. I was wishful thinking. Oh, no, don't go anywhere near that electrical box. We've seen that in careers before. Yeah, we yeah. have. Trent, she seems a little conflicted here. Yeah. Just a little. No, okay. I, I think I think we're. Oh no, we're back up, and the signee is up. <laughs> oh. And Mike another Lord, kick huh? to the back. Ooh. My mystery signee is in all kinds of trouble. Oh, it drops the elbow down. You know, I think I might have to call this in. We got to get some refs back there. Break this oh, up. Oh, what a kick! Boop. She's not even gonna be able to sign to read the contract, let alone sign it. Come on, Trent. Back the fuck off here. <laughs> oh, she's got the chair! Oh, oh god, what a shot! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I didn't need to see that. Come on, Trent. Holy shit, that was, that was horrendous. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a little bit of thinking about how we handle this one. There will be disciplinary actions, though. Unbelievable. I don't know that my signee is gonna be out there to sign this contract tonight. Again, apologies to Marcel McDaniels, but you've got yourself a match of money in the ass. And we gotta, we gotta keep the show moving. We gotta keep the show moving. I'm gonna think about it a little bit. Next up, folks, more Plim Plum Plus Away qualification action. Only two members of these four are, are, are able to qualify, and that is the original Plim Plum Pluser himself, Le Bread Mask. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and on the other side, Space Cadet. And with their tag team partners, it's Johnny Five and Mora Plovatch. Whichever tag team wins, their Plim Plum Pluser will fill the final hole that Mordam is going to squish on Sunday at Money in the Ass. Of course, the Plim Plum Plus Await match. Mordam, Eliod, whoever wins Blue this Bomber. one. And Blue Bomber. Blue Bomber. I didn't forget you. <laughs> <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely forgot. <laughs> In a four-way extreme elimination match, who is going to be the final piece to that puzzle? Yeah. Well, how could you bet against LeBred Mask? They've been pretty good as a team, haven't they? The uh, winner 3-5 hey. quits. They sure have. The winner 3-5 Wheats, of course, getting a trio's win over Norse Country, and that's with uh, the Waitrix and more Plovatch and Space Cadet all together. So, you know, they're riding high. You know, they're feeling confident. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was fucking burped or threw up or something there. <laughs> Pardon me. It's just like, I'm just going to talk through it. I'll be fine. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna get some water actually. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, <Okey> dokey. <laughs> wow. Amazing. What an entrance. <laughs> oh. There they are, two thirds of the winner, three five wheats. <laughs> J5 uh, doing the sexy boy pose is uh, pretty much all any of us could have asked for for a Friday night. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> they've got they, they've got the trio's entrance going here, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, this is the correct one. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I mean, it's J5 Machina, so, I mean, all of those things are pretty much accurate, yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that J5 was ever in a band, though. He's probably beating up somebody who's in a band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed, um, sandwich. Indeed. Yeah. And here we go. Can Space Cadet get back to a title match? Of course, losing to Moradam one on one last month after miraculously qualifying to compete for the Plim Plum Blues Away title. He would certainly be a champion if he had it. That <laughs> No one could dispute that. Yep. Hello, Flicky. Flicky, Flicky, Flicky. Hello. Flicky, Flicky, Flicky. <laughs> I miss so Unseen good. Walker. Yeah. He's still around. He still streams. I, I occasionally show up and watch him stream in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, that was some great promos. There's been some great promos in JFW over the years. I wish we just kept them all, you know, and like, and then just could make a video of just all of the promos. I, mean, I have all of them, Jim. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, maybe I'm we pretty, could. Then. I'm pretty sure they're in the archive I gave you the link to. Glorious. Oh, wow, could just do that it. Definitely, that you'll definitely need the link to again, probably. Yes, definitely, yeah. But that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Just all of the uh, promos. Let me see. Yeah, we got the J5 promo. <laughs> The Rick EAB promo, the Space Cadet. Space Cadet had a promo? Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, I remember the Space Cadet. He looks like a fucking hostage. But... <laughs> yeah, it does! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's the flicky unseen promo. Glory. Oh man, so good. Yeah, you could make a super cut of these. Yeah, that'd be sick. All right, back to the action at hand. The two, the two guys competing for the title spot in the ring to start this one. That's how you want it. Nice counter there by Space Cadet. And Tom Schniz goes down. The Friday fuckboy, though, on a Friday night. Basically uh, unbeatable, except for all those times he's lost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Defending the ball is super easy. Oh, my God, I love that. I love exclamation point easy. <laughs> 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 oh, what oh, nice. a suplex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know what else to say there. <laughs> Look at this, the power picking up the big man into the sit down power bomb. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Sorry. That was very weird. Oh, he's gonna make more Plovatch tap right in front of space. Oh god. Protecting the tap is super easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he just jumped oh, on the god. ground. Yeah. Fuck's sake, boy. Hey, it, it countered it countered that light punch by by, <laughs> by the bread mask. Yeah. No, oh, Plo's pointing his elbow, he wants to smash him. Yeah, he sure does. But no, the heart tag to J5 and in comes the biggest guy in this match with a beautiful drop kick. Of course, top rope Johnny. Don't be mistaken by his looks. He is a high flyer, folks. He knows how to go up the ropes and then fall off of them. And if someone's in the way, shame on them. <laughs> yep. Look at this. Ooh. Wow. A lot of power by Moore Plovach. <sighs> Wrenching that arm, trying to take away his ability to uh, climb climb the turnbuckles. Yeah, top rope Johnny is a terror. Yep. Get space in. Yeah, tagging in space here. J5 still prone. He was, I think J5 was trying to camouflage himself with the ref there briefly, but it uh, didn't work. Space Cadet remembered where he was and was able to hone in. Again, going to keep working that arm. Mm. He was actually supinated, wasn't he? I, I hate that about Blood Bowl, to be honest, but never mind. <laughs> the 
just going again, grabbing him with those thighs around the neck. No one wants to be in that position as he elbows away with that spiked elbow pad. Yeah, not when space is doing it, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he might not have a lot of muscle mass on those, but he still has all of the parts you don't want anywhere near your head. Yep. <laughs> And that's just all parts of Space Connect. Yeah, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no offense, nice Space. Count. Oh, I, I mean, I meant offense. I don't, I don't want. To... Oh my goodness! Well, apparently Space taking it out on Lebred Mask in this one, and he's in some trouble. Here comes a pin, maybe. No, he's gonna tag in more Plovatch. Yeah. I gotta say, of all the four people uh, involved in this match, or five if we include the ref. Space's thighs are probably the thighs I want least around me. <laughs> there you go. Lovatch gets a gets a nod because I think he could bring chocolate over before he came to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There might this, be a... uh, this, uh, this match has uh, become very lopsided in favor of North Country, but maybe Tom mm -hmm. about to turn turn the tide here maybe Tagging in j5 here we go oh, some tag this. team maneuvering here look at this oh my oh, goodness oh. into the power bomb boy howdy Oof. oh but he came up empty that time or plovac barely getting out of the way and a nice drop well it's kind of actually an ugly drop kick but ooh, it <laughs> connected that's a step beyond most people in the jfw yep and Thank here we you. go. I think we're going to see Space no. Cadet one more time. The Space no. Cadet match! Yes! Oh, no. J5 in the unfriendly corner and about... Oh, oh God. He almost took out Space Cadet there, too. <laughs> He's going to the top rope. Is it the elbow? Yeah, I think it is. No, no. it's not. Oh, it's the knees Oh, up. my goodness. Moonsault into the knees. J5 back to his feet. And now Plovatch in trouble here. No, a can... quick counter. I almost said the C word. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say a C nut counter, only yeah. it flows better the other way. <laughs> Look out, Space Cadet to the arm. Again, they're working that arm. I, I don't think they understand J5's offense all that much, but uh, no. it doesn't involve his left arm. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to ruin his night's entertainment once, once the match is over. Oh, I know, I know from personal experience that J5's a right-hand kind of guy. Oh, okay. But maybe he uses his left so it feels like someone else is doing it. <laughs> no, no, no. You're talking crazy. Oh, there's a poison Rana. That would have been funny if Space Cadet's horn stuck in. <laughs> oh, my God, that'd <laughs> be glorious. Lawn dart. <laughs> Space back up to his feet here. A lot of counters coming in furiously here. You can see the emotion on all of these competitors as J5 gets tangled in the ropes. Beautiful drop kick. Oh. Which one of these two Plum Plum losers is going to money in the ass? Oh. oh my goodness. And if Space gets there, is he going to have legs to work with here? J5 almost snapped it off. Yeah. Oh, but J5 was looking uh, looking for an opening, and I think he found one. Look <laughs> at that, up and over. And Space Cadet is in a world of hurt here, Big using his quickness to, yeah, to get out of the way one more time and try and take advantage oh, of J5. Oh, oh, my gosh. No, the counter again into the DDT. <laughs> Thought he okay. drove those horns into him. Caught him and DDT'd him, but he's right in front of Plovatch. That's not going to be the place you want to pin him. And J5 needs to stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> That's, uh, he's, he's kind of uh, reenacting peeing on a dryad there. <laughs> hey, he goes crazy. Do you know, did you know that J5 thought that peeing on a dryad wasn't sexual and wasn't cheating on his wife? I was shocked. I mean, J5 would know, uh, he would know the bounds of his marriage better than you or I. <laughs> oh, 
Well, here we go. And it, it certainly didn't, according to the story, uh, involve any sexual gratification for one half of that uh, interaction. <laughs> but we're getting out of, uh, out of our uh, out of our element here. I was Let's just trying to make a throwaway thing. comment, Gorilla. <laughs> Let's not dwell on it too long. <laughs> 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 Another counter to the moonsault. You'd think they'd start going for that insane elbow so they could see the knees coming, but no. Big maneuver here, though. Look up. Big back body drop. Oh, oh. We might see the elbow drop now. And we might. It's a long way to go. He's in it the is. middle of the damn ring. Here it is, the insane elbow, boosh, oh, right to the heart. And I think it's going to be up to Tom Schniz to save his chances at a title shot. Here he comes. Easy. Easily done. Oh, but he's <laughs> going to pay for it. J5 needs to get something going here, or he is going to lose this oh, match, oh. and it's going to cost him nothing personally. <laughs> See you, JBG. See you, JBG. Well, keep an eye on the VOD so you can find out if you've got a triple threat or just a a, a duo for uh, for Sunday for your title. We'll see you then. Yep. Oh, now space. The second insane elbow for Johnny oh, Five. No. Oh, no. J5, look out. Boosh. Oh, connecting again. J5 is down and out. Tom right is there. going to money in the ass. He's going to have to get himself there, I think. Yep, that is J5 done. Two, two elbows, two space cadet marches. He is up shit creek. Oh, look at this! The, the judo takedown. Shake rattle and, and the roll. shake rattle and roll. Where is this coming from, J5? Oof. Uh, again, though, the quickness of Space Cadet keeping him out of that sandwich. Oh, and is he going to let him tag in Tom? No. Looks like he's going to let him. No, he's not. He intercepts it. Thought he was maybe going to let ta Tom tag in to assert dominance, which probably would have been a huge mistake. Yeah. They've really gone for this left arm, aren't they? It's weird. They're really working the left arm. Again, I don't think they understand that his finisher is a curb stomp. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know, climbing to the top rope here. Yeah. Oh, he's not oh, gonna get him this oh, time though. No, he's not. He's oh. still gonna try. Oh God, no! J5. <laughs> oh, I'm no. pretty sure that might have just thrown his entire back out. <laughs> Landed on the ropes there, <laughs> and that could spell disaster if Tom Schnitz can't tag in. Oh dear. What a disaster. Oh no, Tom Schnitz. Bad night for the winner. Three, five weeks. Of course, Skuro getting eliminated by Artemis fucking Black. And now this. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad night for Stan Firm. Here we go. <laughs> the third Space Cadet March for Johnny Five. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> J5 entirely isolated here. Hmm. Flo just tired of beating him up. Yeah, tired, tired of winning, apparently, is Flovatch. <laughs> Here we go, going top rope now. Is this going to be another elbow? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, my dead. gosh, another insane elbow to J5, and he's just dead. Tom Schnitz has got to get in there. He's not getting he's not in. Trying. What? How the wow. fuck did he kick out? Tom Schnitz, the vote of confidence on J5, and J5 somehow kicks out he's got a counter here but can he get out of this match he's got to find a way to tag in tom schniz what the fuck where's this energy coming from <laughs> he holds up for the pin oh my god oh, he almost had him now he's, he's going, going to the top, top. where is this energy coming from ah <laughs> oh, he's hit it the diving headbutt and in once again is schniz 
Oh, he misses oh, both. Oh, and Schniz came up empty. Oh. And Space barely saving the match. He's going up again. Oh, my God. Top rope, Johnny. Herculean effort for Tom Schniz. <laughs> Nails it again. Oh, my God. And what a legend. Here comes Tom again. Missed again. Oh, <laughs> Tom. Tom. Oh Tom. What are you doing? J5 literally couldn't go through anything more for you. <laughs> and look at this. He's completely turned it around. J5 in any other event here would just be... <laughs> so oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's oh, missed no, them. he caught the ropes again. <laughs> oh, that and that might have been the last moment. No. No. Oh. Hey, he oh. holds on. No, he doesn't hold on for the pin that time. <laughs> Top rope again. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Why oh, not? Cut him that one connects. What is happening? Oh, my God. <laughs> Top Schniz, you cannot miss. He did. He missed again the third time. The third <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> You're making a real hard case that you deserve this if, if J5 somehow can win this match. <laughs> What's one more time here? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I know the mask is hard to see out of J. It's a tumption is, but come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh dear. J5 couldn't have done more, could he? This is unbelievable. He's gone through hell. This might be it. This kicks out oh, again. Oh, he kicks out. Tom Schnitz took his goddamn time that <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, 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 baby. Oh, my God. Oh, no no J5. way. J5, top rope to the outside. Oh. <laughs> 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 Vintage top rope Johnny, and it's only kind of paying off for him. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. The two Plim Blom losers haven't wrestled in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. More Plovach does no account out, doesn't help anyone. J5! Finally gets no. the tag to Tom Schniz, and wouldn't it be something if Schniz got pinned instantly? <laughs> yeah, 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 I would love it. Uh, 13 feet, we said. Yeah. Plovach figuring out what he's going to do to Tom Schniz here. I don't think we're going to see J5 anytime oh, soon. Oh, it's the foot fetish. Oh, this no, the end. foot fetish. <laughs> Tom does not immediately tap out. <laughs> Tragedy. Oh, oh the, the spear might have ended it. He's going to let he's space, gonna let space end it. This is going to be a big pick-me-up for Space Cadet. A, a win here to go to that. <laughs> no, two-count kick out. Somehow, someway, LeBred Mask is still in this. <laughs> LeBred Mask had about like a week off Defending in between wrestling here. <laughs> and he's <laughs> still already flagging. <laughs> Oh, self rock bottom, oh, bust the open. Self rock bottom, it's over, it's over. <laughs> Busted him open too. Plim plum plex, maybe no, not yet. J five finally no, stirring. Is the no spear. counter. J five almost back up onto the apron, and uh, Schniz is gonna need him if he's gonna get that pinfall. Oh, oh wow. Oh, what a counter by Space Cadet. Oh, what uh -oh. the hell? Oh, oh he wriggles oh, through. Goes to the rolls through for the pin. Ref caught the ref off guard there. Oh, oh he almost had him. J5 showing it how it's done. Look at oh this. Another God. roll up. Oh, the ref doesn't see it. Now he does. <laughs> Look at this pin. He's got him. He got him. Oh. He got him. <laughs> Tom Schniz basically by himself has got it himself to <laughs> to money in the ass, qualifying for the Plim Plum loser weight title. No thanks to J5.
Just kidding, J5. <laughs> yeah, that was a 2v1 match for about 20 minutes and then... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, the Friday night fuckboy himself, Tom Sis, is going on to a four-way extreme elimination match to face Moradam, Eliod... And the Blue Bomber. <laughs> the Blue Bomber and himself. I was just... Pausing for dramatic effect, Jim. <laughs> okay. I knew that. What a match. Unbelievable stuff. And, uh... Oh, dear. Glad we've got the penguin back. There you go. That was that. Was that. What a oh, match. Oh, Jim, you might have just had your best idea ever. That is brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. That is brilliant. <laughs> Oh dear. He's gonna have to, yeah, we'll all take yeah. everything. Anyway, folks, it's now time, I guess, for your main event. Dimmy G, win and he's in, needs to beat Frostlord, who has been on an absolute rampage recently. But if Dimmy G can get the pinfall, he'll get added to the world title match between Frostlord and JVG and make it a triple threat match. And then, I, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what I want to do here. We're supposed to have a contract signing in the ring to uh, unmask and introduce our newest uh, signee to the JFW women's uh, division. I'm just not feeling it after that attack by Trent earlier. You know what? Stay tuned, folks. I got an idea. I got, I, I, I got an idea. We'll talk about it, but first, let's focus on this match. Let's get to ringside for Demi G versus Frostlord. Holy howdy. The champ. Not actually the champ, by the way. <laughs> but he calls himself the champ. He could be the champ. He's got to win two matches in three days. Yeah. Easier said than done, of course, when that first match you got to win is a guy who won a handicap match in about 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. But Dimmy G did beat the champ last week to set this up and so now all he's got to do is beat the contender and he's got himself a title match at a premier pay-per-view and that's not nothing yeah i thought you're gonna say at a premier in <laughs> he's got himself a title match at a premier in that would have been amazing oh dear boy howdy Frosty's been on a tear. Can sure Dimmy stand in his way? Oh, there's very few people out there, especially, you know, you can look over, of course, at Peppered Biscuits, but not many other people as intimidating and dominant as Frostlord Army right now. Yep. He looks like he's got no time for nonsense. He doesn't want a triple threat match. He already he already lost his title watching Dimmy G get pinned by JBG without him involved in that Hell in a Cell match. He's not going to give an opportunity for that to happen again if he has anything he can do about it. Yep. Here we go. We are underway. Your main event of the night, as it were. And, yep, the dominance continues. Just grabbing him out of nowhere and driving his knee right into the ribs. Dimmy's up for but this, here though. Comes, yeah, here comes Dimmy again. Some would say, Dimmy, not enough brain cells to know when he's in danger. He's just going to throw some fists and see what happens. <laughs> He's going to get slapped, though. <laughs> sure is. Oh, and then Jewel just chucked across the ring there. Casual massage here by Frostlord yeah. Army before the beatings <laughs> shall recommence. <laughs> oh! Demi with the counter and, and the kick to the back. Demi is definitely up for this one. 
Drops the elbow into the mid back. You take away the mid and lower back from a power wrestler, and that is taking away half their arsenal. Mm. Oh, what a right hand, though. Indeed. Oh. Oh, God. I'm oh, really... my goodness. A straight right hook there. Oh, God, look at this. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. It's pretty dominant from Frost Lord. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, Dimmy. Poor Dimmy. Yeah. He's Dimmy chair proof. He's not Frost Lord here. proof. Oh, God. <laughs> Neat to the face. Is this it already? It could be. I mean. That is how Frost Lord has been operating, huh? Yeah. He's loving it. This is just dominating. <laughs> He's just getting beat down. <laughs> Poor bastard. Oh god, this could this could be a tap. Oh no, is he gonna is he gonna crush him and uh, make him tap out yet again? We've seen this end so many matches recently, mm -hmm. and it does. Dimmy can't hang on, can't get himself the title shot. What a disappointment for Dimmy G. But, you know, what What else can you say about Frost Lord right now? He's just at the top of his game. The only thing he's missing is a title that he lost <laughs> get off my without getting pinned break. on. Frost Lord <laughs> going one-on-one -on -one with JBG this Sunday. Holy howdy. And, yeah, wow, folks, you know what? I mean, look at this! Look at this absolute dominance once again <laughs> by Frost Lord. Unbelievable stuff. Outrageous. It it really is. But folks, I've got an announcement for you right now. I I don't want to end the show on a sour note. So instead, instead of anything else here, you know what we're gonna do? Trend wanted to welcome in my new signing to the JFW Friday Stand Firm Women's Division. Well, Trend's gonna get to do that right now. I'm going to put one more match on this show, and it's going to be Tren one-on-one -on -one against my signing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to worry about the paperwork later. This is a one-on-one -on -one match. Tren, you want a fair fight? It doesn't look like you do, but you're getting one right now. So let's, uh, let's, let's get this going here. Get in your gear. Get them all together. And let's introduce Tren and the world to the next JFW women's wrestler on our roster this is gonna be a wild one folks boy howdy well let's just get to ringside then eh absolutely i'm ready to go if you are i am <laughs> you know i wanted to root for trend for so long but after everything she's done how many matches has she interrupted most of them marcel's chances <laughs> I just can't cheer for her anymore. <laughs> so instead, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let my new signee do the talking for me. <laughs> it's definitely a loose cannon. <laughs> yeah. Hard to predict what trend's gonna decide in the moment. Are you gonna love her? Are you gonna hate her? Who knows? But here we go, folks. Welcome to the JFW <laughs> Sandwich. That's right, mm, Sandwich is here and is gonna kick some ass tonight. And I think is gonna be kicking some ass in the women's division for the weeks to come. It's time for one-on-one -on -one at the top of the top of the largest women's wrestling division in all of Blood Bowl themed AI based professional wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite, that's quite the broad cuttering gorilla. <laughs> what can I say? We know we know our we know our niche. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> what a start. 
<laughs> yeah, wait, what a start. What a start. Oh, again, she took like two hey, two chair shots to, to open the night. All right, go easy. Trent, of course, a bit of a power wrestler. That's going to be Mash Samich, known for speed and agility here. Oh, dear. It's a potato sandwich. <laughs> yeah, potato sandwich. Amazing. Oh. And you can see there's some fire and some fight in this punk rocker. Samich not happy with her introduction earlier backstage, but uh, still has to counter with the fact that Trent is... Uh, Probably the top, the top female wrestler in uh, in in the division and in any division really right now, and so this is a tall task. You know, this could have easily and probably should have been a money in the ass pay per view match, but I'm giving it to you tonight because of uh, the disrespect trend showed for all of Friday Stand Firm by spoiling our main event sign. -up. Fair enough. Oof. Oh, what a spear there by Samich into the pin. Could this be over before it gets going? No. Of course it could. <laughs> no, you got to do better than that to take out the potato train. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack. Oh, look at this, though. A little power move by Samich here. Oh, look mm -hmm. out. Where's she going with her? Oh, oh no, she's going to draw. I thought it was a power bomb. No, yeah. it drops her right into that turnbuckle. Oof. Oh, oh but account. the X Factor out of nowhere with an X Factor to Samich and then wrenching on that arm. And now uh, a pretty hopeful pin there doesn't even get a one count. Trend's going to have to do a bit more here. Well, and that's one way to do it just drive your elbow into the shoulder. She really loves this monkey flip. Yep. <laughs> she does it, does it quite often. <laughs> oh, but misses there. And Ooh. now, oh, sweeps the leg. And Samich coming right back and giving it back to Tren. Oh, <laughs> beautiful Hurricane Rana takedown by Samich. And now a hopeful pin here by Samich. Gets a one count only. Some wild moves there, not connecting, but the side Russian leg sweep does. <laughs> yep. And now Samich taking it to Trend in the corner there. Trend getting no respite whatsoever, but has to power her way out of it to get back in this match. And she does. Snap suplex right into the pin. Oof. One count only. Just trying to wear down Samich. Of course, Samich has not been competing at the same level that Trent has for the last few months. And that is going to uh, be an advantage for Trent if she knows how to capitalize it. Wear down the opponent, counter their power moves, and keep on them at all times. And that's what we're seeing. Yep. Hello, store baby. Oh, look at this, though. Wow, wheelbarrow German suplex. What a maneuver. And, oh, I thought that was over. I thought that was it, but no, she's going to put more into her. Oh, no, gets countered there and only finds an elbow for the headbutt. Ooh, bulldog. Running bulldog by Trent. Now, Trent's Tren's, uh, sizing her up finally. Finally taking some time to really strategize, figure out the weak points here, and go right after Samich. Oh, that knee. Oh, that and, knee? And it reintroduced her to that knee, and here comes a potato drop. Oh, no. Has this, this backfired? It? This might have backfired, folks. Samich That's in it, all the sorts of drop. trouble. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I, maybe I asked too much of my new sign. And maybe I didn't. What a kick out. You don't see many kick outs of the potato drop. Flip me, guys. Flip me indeed. Oh. 
Trent's going crazy. Yep, Trent just uh, hammering on Samich. Samich wisely rolling out of the ring, trying to get her breath. But here comes Trent stalking her. Oof. <laughs> Trent loosening up here. Really feeling it now. Feels like she's in complete control of the match. And honestly, can you blame her? She kind of is. Oh, but that's a nice way to come back in it. Another takedown on all that concrete outside the ring. And back inside we go. Looks like Samich wants to win this clean for her debut. Oh, and look at this. Samich gonna fly here, going top rope. What are we looking at here? Oh, look out! Moonsault <laughs> connects, hangs on for the pin. Oh, she's done it! Next daughter, and Samich has done it. That's right. Tren was not ready to absorb that finishing move there. The Samich salt. <laughs> the salted Samich. The salty Samich. God, that sounds really bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, the sandwich song. We'll keep it at the sandwich song. <laughs> yeah, it made potato salad out of her tonight. Sandwich winning a big match in her debut. Unbelievable stuff. Welcome to the JFW. <clears throat> sandwich. <laughs> yeah, huge win. Unbelievable. Kicked out of the potato. What drum. is next for Samich and, and Tran and everyone else in our stacked JFW women's uh, division? We will have to wait and see. Tonight is all about the new signee, mm, Samich. And folks, that is going to do it for Friday Stand Firm this week. We're back in just two days with Money in the Ass at 8 p.m. UTC. All the titles on the line and, of course, the main event, Money in the Ass match for that contract. It is going to be one hell of a night. I will see you all there. and Thanks for having me. As always, my name is Gorilla Metso, and I'll see you Sunday. Glorious. Thank you so much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.